Hello guys, this is David and today I'm going to show you how I created this small animation. But first, thank you Tyson for this amazing plugin and thank you guys for all the likes and comments. Feel free to share and subscribe. No, just kidding. Okay, let's get started. So the first step was recording me playing with the operators, layout, window sizing and stuff. I was a bit experimenting beforehand, but it was like my third time I could record it properly, so it wasn't that of a headache. And after that I created a JPEG sequence from the screen recording, and then I just jumped right into 3ds Max, so let's do that now. In 3ds Max I started setting up the scene with the unit setup. I was working in centimeters and with generic units which I didn't like in the beginning, but now I think it looks modern and polished. Then I created a plane with the dimensions proportional to a 4K video and applied the BG movie texture to it, which is actually the image sequence from the screen recording. Then I created a camera, which is not a physical one because I needed orthographic projection. I created two boxes with added poly modifier on each of them to separate the front faces by material ID from the rest of the object. Then I applied the same multi-material to both of them. The left one is a static image, but the right one is also an image sequence. The box sizes are also proportional to the textures. and I position them accordingly to the backplane. I created some collision objects and I animated them frame by frame. created a tie flow object, a tie icon, a reference for the tie icon positioning and a killer box to delete all particles outside of this box. And then the tie flow tie cache was created automatically. In this section I try to focus only on the overall setup and the key settings. To the tie object I applied the same multi-material as I applied it to the two boxes. I set the time step to 1 16th frame and the physics sub-step to 8. The setup is pretty straightforward. I have this fall event which handles the falling object which basically just falls down and interacts with the collision objects and the other fragment. I have this wall event particles set to kinematic and looking for neighbors in particle export group A and the gunny one which is set to export group A so when they are in proximity with the wall particles the wall particles are sent to the wall activated event where they are switched to dynamic get fractured and get a strong spin until they are 10 frames old on the y-axis and this makes them burst out and the wall particle, which is the wall object, is activated on the 560th frame. On the Voronoi fracture, the slice plane normal Y scale is set to zero, and this makes the cutting planes to be perpendicular to the imaginary screen. This applies to all other Voronoi fracture operators. And under physics shape, under dynamics, the Y position lock is active, so particles cannot escape the ZX plane and they can only rotate around the Y axis. The gun and the wall activated particles are deleted when they exit the killer box. I created the composition in After Effects. It's a very basic setup, so let's just walk through it. Okay, first I had the screen recording. I had to cut out the part where I deleted the event. 
I try to hover over the same spot before and after deleting just to make the cut seamless. Then I imported the sequence of the render which is actually three sequences because I needed only render the, the frames where the particles were moving so for example from here to here there is nothing much happening so I didn't include it into the rendering because you know time is money and I don't have time but let me just check it quickly oh uh, yeah I thought so anyway back to After Effects then I had this grid PNG which is just a simple cutout and this creates the illusion that there is more grid behind this wall and lastly where the animation covers the cursor for example here I just created a fake cursor just to trick your eyes so this is the setup very simple very basic I have a camera just to look around not in full it's that slow and these are the layers here very simple yeah the top left corner is just to cover the the beta version and I replaced it with alpha so thank you guys for watching I hope you like it and see you next time